Shivy, what do you know about Gorilla Tag and creepy pasta? But I do know that there are people who really, really, really like the creepy pasta, and that's how they found out about Gorilla Tag. Uh, I mean, that's how I found out about Gorilla Tag. So, what is a creepypasta? We can trace the word's origin back to copypasta, which was a term used to describe blocks of text that were spread very quickly by being copied and pasted throughout a vast number of websites. So clearly, creepypasta is that, but only referring to horror stories and media shared on and originating from the internet. So think Siren Head, Slenderman, Ben Drowned, Herobrine, and the list goes on. Now let's talk about Gorilla Tag Creepypasta, more specifically, the community. Banjo, originator of Gorilla Tag Creepypasta and creator of the PBBV ARG. Word on the street is that you hate PBBV and the people who hum from the same people who are your fans. What can you tell me about that? Listen, I I just think hunting's kind of stupid. Sure, you might get some cool interactions, but overall you're just seeing a bunch of kids screaming at someone with mods. And on hating PvP for a while, that was very true. I also I hated Ruby Pasta on Reddit, but also without that, PvP probably wouldn't be as popular. Cause that's how like J-Man sort and all that. Currently, I don't hate PvP, and I'm currently working on it. But I don't know. We'll see. Do you think that other people's opinions might have swayed your opinion on the ARG that you've created? Yeah, no, that's a hundred percent. So you're saying that because other people are saying that it's cringe, you also see it as cringe. I started to for a bit, that's for sure. All right, so let me send you this um, this PNG, okay? Read that out loud for me. Do not kill the part of you that is cringe. Kill the part that cringes, that it has cringe. himself, I think. <laughs> yeah. Jokes aside, there are some people who love the scarier side of Gorilla Tag, and I'm one of them. I personally love the idea of some atrocity lurking through the game that will bring something terrible to unfortunate players who happen to cross its path. And when you think about it, Gorilla Tag is kind of the perfect platform for that. Not only is immersion heightened due to it being a VR game, it's also online, it has proximity chat, it has an old and sometimes normal aesthetic, and when you're scared and you have to run, you can't just hold down the thumbstick to sprint, you have to physically move. And all that movement is only causing fatigue or adrenaline, which only helps to further heighten immersion. As far as Gorilla Tag creepy pastas go we have things like pbbv daisy 09 echo and the list goes on and on and on and on and on from what i can gather players see any of these entities as being one of three things one paranormal beings think ghosts spirits like the game is possessed like a ben drowned situation two artificial intelligence i'll give two examples OpenAI, this is a machine learning artificial intelligence that learns from things like game clips given to it with the appropriate inputs and actively playing the games. This type of AI does not have direct access to the game's files, so it can only see the game from the same perspective that we do. My second example is Baritone, a chief from Minecraft, which unlike OpenAI has access to the game files, allowing it to pull off remarkable feats. The program can react with and track statuses and positions of objects and entities in game. However, unlike OpenAI, it is not a true artificial intelligence because all the algorithms that it utilizes are all predefined by the creator. And lastly, modders. The mod scene for Gorilla Tech is thriving. Unfortunately, however, I'm not talking about good mods that add content and more fun to be had in the game, but I am instead referring to malicious mods and mod menus. You can download these either from the sketchiest of Discord servers, or if you are very desperate, you can pay and get not only the best of mod menus, but also a keylogger, IP grabber, cookie stealer, a trojan, and the icing on the cake is that you'll probably get banned as well. Oh, what's that? It's working fine right now? Better hope that the next G-Tag update doesn't break your paid cheats or worse, detected and get you banned. But but ko koala spoof. Oh, well, well, what's that? A bit louder, please. But koala sells ban evasion software. <laughs> yeah. Maybe if you want to spend more money to turn your one-month modding ban into a lifetime ban evasion ban. Then by all means, go right ahead. Let's see what a creepypasta hunting lobby thinks that these entities are. Raise your hand for me if you think that most Gorilla Tag entities are modders. Yeah, yeah possibly. Yeah, they can raise your hand if you think that some entities could be AI. And lastly, raise your hand if you think that there could be something paranormal going on. Okay, everyone who raised your hand, can I ask how old you are? What? <laughs> Thank you.
So we are here in City Map looking for McNugget, the owner of Gorilla Tag Myth Corporation. Word is that he uh, lives in one of these buildings. Hey, Nug, what's up, man? Hey, what's up, Bessie? McNugget, do you think that Gorilla Tag ghosts are paranormal, AI, or modders? I'm pretty sure that most of them are modders, but I still believe, you know. Might be a real one out there one day. Of the paranormal variety? Of the paranormal variety. What is the strangest, most eerie encounter that you've ever had with one of those entities? I think it was with me and my friend. There was this one person in the lobby. They had no name, like always. But they ended up making it where if you exit outside the tree trunk, it kicks you out the game completely. And everyone, like some other people that were also ghosts in the server, were like around us outside of each door outside of the tree trunk. And there's one of them in the middle that was just, you know, T-Bug in like a weird position. And it was just spitting Seven, out random numbers. 15, we did try to record one, it, but two, I accidentally messed 19. up and didn't record audio. Let, let's go find them. Oh, you know what? We can go do that. Yeah, yeah, let, let's go. We didn't really find anything interesting, so I decided that, assuming that all the entities are modders, that I may have better luck running into something while live streaming. I'll step away and let you see for yourself. Welcome to the stream, everybody. Today we are hunting Gorilla Tag Creepypastas, and the code is down below. Oh, guys, there's someone named Banshee that was already in here. Oh, boy. I, I think this is it. This is what we've been streaming for this entire time. Where is Banshee? This ghost is a white monkey and is usually found in the red treehouse or the mineshaft, the creepiest place. Eventually, you will hear loud, high-pitched audio, and if you don't leave the room, then she will sometimes say, I know your location, and then your real name. I know your location, Eric. Is that Banshee? Guys? I'm actually kind of freaked out. He's not moving at all. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Oh, dude, you could have been content, but you just had to ruin it. How long have you been sitting there? There are people in here. Hi. Be quiet. Be quiet. TPPE has recruited Gorilla Tech, so as they preview you, this is serious you need to warn others before they are attacked by the dangerous hackers on Gorilla Tech. I would advise you to never join the code 1115829 warning. Stay safe, may Gorilla Tech be in peace. I'm gonna go ahead and end the stream right here. Thank you for showing up. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I know this wasn't a particularly exciting stream or anything like that. And subscribe to SDB. He's a great YouTuber. Yeah, listen to this kid. He's right. All right. I come from the Duty Foundation. I am here There's to tell you that he is not what he seems. Uh, Good luck and to all of you. I come from the Duty Foundation. I am here to tell you that he is not what he seems. Good luck. What do you say? What? what he seems. S E B. S E B. Yeah. Don't end it. Don't end it. Fascination with the unknown, the strange, the occult, dark organizations, cyber wizardry, the Sub Rosa-esque happenings in the world. We humans are programmed to be drawn to it. Without this fascination, in August of 1492, Christopher Columbus would have never had set sail and discovered the West for the East. In April of 1961, we would have never have blasted through the atmosphere for the first time to explore the stars. And on October 29th, 1969, a computer at the Stanford Research Institute would have never have been connected to one at the University of California, creating the first working prototype of what was then called ARPANET, which would soon become what we know today as a World Wide Web. So, for everyone who says that creepypasta hunting is cringe, I don't entirely disagree. However, when you are young, like most people who partake in it are, you have a higher suspension of disbelief. 
humans love stories. And with this in mind, we've been telling stories for years. And oftentimes, people exaggerate what actually happened. Take dime western novels, for example, which were popular in the late 1800s. Cowboys would oftentimes embellish their stories with crime, adventure, and the unknown to sell more copies to the East, whose only view into the life of those in the Wild West were through these novels, when in reality all they did was move cattle from town to town all day. We live in a world where now we tell these stories online where they are spread at rates that have never been before seen up until the turn of the century. For Gorilla Tag, it's either in Discord, Reddit, YouTube, TikTok, or even just around the fire. And with Gorilla Tag's target audience, the young minds are very susceptible to asking questions about why things are the way they are, create boogeymen related to the oddities they observe, spread the word, and eventually someone will imitate the story in game. And then, people will seek them out for that thrill. I want to end this video with my own creepypasta. The entity's name is Bite. He is a black monkey with no hats. He has the ability to create copies of himself. He is what plays the noise in canyons. He is a heads in city map. Shrouded in a mystery, no one knows who or what he is or the extent of his power. One thing that is known, however, is that if you see him or any of his copies, run. The reason why most people like creepypastas originally is because they're like ghost stories. Of course, it's all book, but they're fun to tell. I'm playing alone. I'm scared. <laughs> I was a famous YouTuber at the I got a game with him, and I waved to him. Yes!